Although Governor Eddie Calvo specifically used the word deport in his executive order, he does not have the ability to deport compact migrants. Instead, it appears that he is commuting or lowering sentences in exchange for the promise that they never return. But is this even enforceable? The AG says she's not sure. Deportation is a very a complicated administrative adjudicatory process that really falls under the realm of the federal government. Although Governor Eddie Calvo has specifically ordered the deportation of criminals like Ninton Hauk via an executive order, Attorney General Elizabeth Barrett Anderson says he's not technically deporting them as only the federal government has the authority to deport people as it is the federal government that handles Guam's immigration. In his executive order, the governor cites residual authority, quote, to enforce the immigration laws of the United States in default of performance by the Immigration and Naturalization Service of the United States, end quote. The governor in the executive order was using a 64-year-old uh, court case, and it, it has no application today. So I'm putting uh, this concept that the governor has deportation residual authority, I'm putting that to the side and uh, uh, indicating that I don't agree with him on that. The attorney general instead believes that the governor only has the authority to commute or lessen the sentences of inmates. And the governor said, I will commute your sentence on condition that you leave Guam and never return. So that then to me became like a contract, an agreement with the inmate. The problem is, it's not clear if this agreement is even enforceable. This is something the AG is currently looking into. And, and that's actually what I'm looking at right now. Um, I'm, I'm going to be meeting with um, the Chief of Customs, uh, the Director of Customs, and. Um, to see whether the governor's office has given that agency any guidance. PNC received a message from a Chukis woman who said the father of her child is currently in prison on Guam while she and her family are currently living in California. She was concerned that he may be deported back to Chuk. She asked PNC that if he were deported back to Chuk, could her family then buy him a ticket to join them in California? And I can't answer that question for, for, for the individual. The documents that the governor has these inmates sign doesn't just include re-entry into Guam, but transit through Guam. It also informs the airlines. I, I don't know what obligation the airlines has to our executive orders. Uh, and again, I don't know what obligation the federal government has to our executive orders. In essence, this poses the question as to whether or not the governor of Guam has the right to not only ban an immigrant from entering Guam, but the entire U.S. It's these types of questions that has the Attorney General concerned about Gov Guam's liability. Okay. Okay. Uh, you mentioned uh, you don't want it to come back and bite us in the hand. In what way could that happen? A lawsuit. A lawsuit filed. Um, from many different directions. <laughs> and part of what I do here as Attorney General is to defend the general fund, defend our coffers against lawsuits. The Attorney General says she is still researching this entire issue.